Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about one of the recent interview questions asked in a uh, Infosys about the React hoax. Basically, you need to use React hoax just to increase age button or decrease age button. We can do it many ways, but the expectation of the interviewer is to do it in a react hooks without using classes so the expectation is to use efficient way of hooks and in a functional component as we understand that the recent version of the after 16.8 react moving out of classes under new way of functional approach functional way of functional pro programming so you should be use, able to use react hooks with the functional way of programming so that is expectation from the interviewer so let's go to the visual studio code now the visual studio code is open now I'm trying to import the hook set state hook so I'm going to use set state hook from react I'm just defining the age here. The default, just just like a default value. So, like, so I'm going to initialize with two different variable, like setter and getter. The first one is getter and the second one is setter. So, to find age here variable, yeah, the so age is displayed here. So I'm going to add two buttons. One is for increase A's, one is for decrease A's. I'm going to use the event on click event and the on click event will call the hooks, whatever hooks we define here. Now I'm going to define the handler, the increase a handler on decrease a handler. So both handlers I'm going to define it here and increase a like age by one 
and decrease the age, age minus one. As when the event clicked on. I'm going to copy here so when age increase and uh, copying the age decrease handler and uh, paste it in on click event just removing it as changing to h2 and h1 I have a title button decrease button is working fine now so this is the expectation but there are some questions during this programming as well to that there will be some questions uh, related to the react js like how the react js like the hooks internally works so you should be able to explain like the as when the when the it is a set state it takes a new value and sets a new value if and returns the uh, of like array like minus value and set states so if there is new value it will return a new value or it returns the old value like return statement will have the method function like set stage or get stage so these uh, uh, internally these two methods will call internally in a react hooks and interview is also checking this like where when you should use the hooks it means what is the rules should follow by hooks it's like whether they're going to check whether uh, the hooks can call inside the loops or inside the condition any conditions when there are conditional rendering happens and in a nested functions means like function inside the function whether the hooks will work or not and the hooks whenever you declaring the position so so you should be able to declare the hooks at the top of the function not at the bottom of the function and and also how, how only the call hooks from the react function whether you can call the hooks outside of the function so there are some questions on like that i should be able to explain like but the thing is that the hooks rules are we should not be called inside the loops inside the condition and inside the nested functions hoops hooks no, never work on this condition this is the main fundamental rule for a hooks and the hooks should be declared at the top of the function so uh, that is another fundamental rules hope you like this video 
If you really like this video, please like, share and comment. Thank you.